Hello everyone, it's the one and only Paveo here, and I'm bringing you a little Capture the Flag on Hemorrhage in Halo Reach. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Hemorrhage on Halo Reach isn't exactly one of my favorite maps. I mean, you can ask any one of my friends, the entire night while we were searching up for a uh, big team battle, it seems like this is the only thing we could get no matter what. Assault, Capture the Flag, Bomb Plants, it was crazy. And another thing I noticed, um... I don't know how, how many of you guys have actually done big team battle and have gone to a big team slayer uh, lobby or whatever because it seems like we're getting less and less of that and when me and my friends went to do some uh, played some Halo Reach the other day because we were just a little bored of Halo uh, sorry when we went to go play Halo 3 the other day because we were frantically bored with uh, Halo Reach we did big team battle you know because we thought it'd be fun we had a couple people and we got into Sandtrap Big Team Slayer right away, and it was probably one of the funnest things I've ever done in a while. Now, anyway, me complaining about this map isn't what this video is all about. What this video is all about is that Halo Reach is mainly a game about tactics and teamwork. As you can see, or as you're going to see in this entire uh, gameplay footage, which is really long. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, uh, you know, Big Team Slayer. Anyway, Big Team Battle, so... <sighs> Okay, off topic. Here we go. As you as you're gonna see, I'm mainly in the warthog with uh, my buddy over here, and don't worry if you think you know I'm just stealing the kills from him. He's he is racking up the wheelmans, and he's pretty happy when he gets that because he likes to go back through the commendations and all that jazz and see how many wheelmans he got. But uh, when we do more of these, we usually alternate. Like we did uh, Spire after this. And I drove the Falcon, and he was in the gunner, so... You know, keep alternating if you have, like, a buddy, and... You always want to come into games like this, especially big team battles, with, uh... Groups of people, or people you can work with. Uh, but, I mean, if you're working in, like, small things, like... Uh, infection, or... Team Slayer, Team SWAT, you know... You don't have to go in there with buddies, but... It's... Prefer... Preferably, it's... I uh, hope that you do because one, games are always funner to play with friends and uh, two, it just makes everything a lot easier because you can strategize and you can uh, work out so many more things with them and uh, if one guy's not like picking up the slack, just tell him, hey, come on. Uh, if not, we'll help you, we'll slow down the kills a bit, we'll let you go out front and get some of the kills. Uh, anyway, one of the things I want to see from, like, uh, the big team battle more is one big team Slayer, because that's wicked fun. And also, they've taken out a lot of the heavy vehicles, like, um, you notice in this map, there's no Banshee, there's no tank. I mean, it is Capture the Flag, and Capture the Flag on this map is horrendous. That and Assault, I mean, trying to get your flag or your bomb from one side to the other, it is like, if you don't have a vehicle... You're done. You're not going to make it. If you do, it's sheer luck. Because this map is just... Oh, it's so, like... It's just one base on one side, one base on the other, and there's not much in between. All, of course, like, there are weapons and all that stacked up on either base, and there's the vehicles, but... What if there was, like, a Banshee or two in the middle, or a Falcon... And you had to actually, like, try and race there. And you had to... Whoever could, like, capture it first. I mean, I know it is capture the flag, and... You should be capturing and defending the flag, but I mean... Uh, after a while, when you get into those long, boring games where nobody seems to win... It's just completely terrible, and you just wanna... Ah, uh, you just wanna do bad things by the end of it! Ah! Uh, another thing that I've played one too many times on this map is Team Snipers, and... That's probably one of the weirdest things to play on this map because there's literally no movement for the entire game. It's literally everybody on one team standing in the mountains on one side and the other team's doing the exact same thing on the opposite side. And it's basically you move a little bit, somebody sees you, you're out. And team snipers I'm not particularly good at, but you know... Uh, it's usually fun. I usually go in there for fun, which is vid what video games is about, is having fun. So, uh, another thing I really like about Halo Reach is, um, 
Team play. SWAT, that in the infection game type. Team SWAT 1, I'm actually very good at. Uh, I don't know how good I am at it now because when Halo Reach first came out, I was extremely good at it. Uh, where I could just like pick people off and you'll see some more Team SWAT coming out uh, coming out from me in a while. I'm just trying to get this out, you know, getting that variety in my channel that I want to try and get uh, with first person cheers. I guess that's a lot of variety. <laughs> But I'm trying to, you know, do what you guys want. I want variety. I'll try and get some home front if you guys want that. Uh, if you guys know, like, a fun game in the uh, Xbox Live store, Xbox Live Marketplace, sorry, or something like that, you know, tell me. I'll check it out. If I like it, I might get it. Uh, I'll bring you some more sports games, too, if you guys want. Uh, I play NHL 11, and I'm very bad at FIFA, but uh, I can certainly get one of my friend's gameplays to show you that because God knows they're much better than me and uh, I'm not very good at soccer myself you know video games for life that's what it's all about people ask me what sports do you play I say video games they're like are you serious I'm like uh hello MLG heard of me broski and I walk away with a, with a lesser a lesser view on me on me <laughs> <laughs> But enough about that. Uh, uh, back to the gameplay. Uh, with Sony Vegas, of course, it goes like frame by frame. So sometimes I know what's going on. Sometimes I don't. Like right now, attacking this wraith with another kid, and uh, yeah, we're we're just killing that wraith. Kid in there's like, what the hell is going on? And we're like, I'm gonna take you out of that wraith, and then we gonna kill you. We gonna kill you. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, this time if the audio sounds a little different, it's because I'm using the, I think I mentioned this with my Portal 2 commentary, is I'm using an actual, like, rock band mic, which the quality is actually decent on these things, I'm surprised, as opposed to my headphone one, because I feel like this is more open and I can, like, move around more, as opposed to, I don't know, it's weird, it's like a claustrophobic kind of thing, I guess. But, I don't know, I like this one better. And, uh, it actually works this time, which was surprising. So, that is very bueno. And, another thing about Halo Reach, because, you know, this is Halo Reach-oriented video, so I guess I might as well talk about it. Uh, Halo Reach is probably one of my favorite games. My favorite having to probably be Halo 3. Because when I first got my Xbox, uh, you know, I got the standard two games. Well, I got I got weird standard two games. A lot of my friends got Kung Fu Panda and, like, Lego Indiana Jones or something. And I got um, Forza Motorsport 2 and Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And Mar- oh, not Marvel. Marvel I've already beat with my cousin. So when I got that, I was like, damn, well, I can't play this because I already beat it. And uh, Forza, I have no idea how the controls work. I mean- I move my control stick to the left, it starts going right. I move my control stick to the right, it starts going right. And I don't, I frankly don't understand how I go left. It's just, it's a bizarre game to me, and it looks beautiful. I mean, don't get me wrong, that game was absolutely stunning when I first got my Xbox. Because what I had before that was the PS2 and the GameCube, and before that the N64, so I mean, everything just kept getting more and more pretty. Everything was so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. But, yep. Capture the flag on Hemorrhage is probably a game type in which I like to kill myself. Because it is very dreadful, except when me and my friend come over here and rape sauce. And we just put on that sauce all over these kids. And they're all like, oh my god, the sauce, it's too much. I grab the flag as a valiant effort. I gotta make it. I g oh, damn. <laughs> it's funny because I'm watching this, like, like I said, like, frame by frame by frame. And it's like, it's skipping out big parts in between. And so one, one second I'm, like, making a run for it. And the next second I'm dead on the ground. So, kind of anticlimactic. Almost got that, uh... Ooh, another thing I like about Halo Reach. I think I diverse off that Halo 3 topic, but anyway, when I first got my Xbox, besides the two custom games that came with it, 
I got Halo 3, and me and my cousin, uh, we sat down the entire day, because he heard, he was the reason I got it, he heard it was a great game, so I got it, and we sat down the entire day, because he slept over, and we played six hours straight, six hours straight on normal, and we beat the entire campaign in that one run through, and it was awesome. I mean, even to this day, Halo, re like, the final mission of Halo 3 is still fun as hell. Just running through, and if you have, like, a party of four, man, that is, that was some sweet stuff. And custom games on that game, I have so many fun custom games that it's crazy. I mean, there's, uh, the original Jenga, there's one called Termites and Floorboards, where the guy underneath is infected and he tries to shoot you out from under. Uh, Monster Trucks, I, I had the original... Sorry, on Rat's Nest. But on this game, it seems like they've taken out a lot of that stuff. Like, if you try and do monster trucks or uh, ice cream ice cream truck, like, uh, on Kitty Lane, you can't really do it as well because you can't make it so that people do no damage but can still, like, get run over like you could in Halo uh, 3. So on Halo Reach, if you have everybody can't do any damage to each other, you can't splatter anybody. So it's completely pointless and my screen just blacked out. Oh my god! Oh, finally, this 11 minute view video is coming to an end, so I remind you to rate, well, like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy.